Hey everybody, my name is Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler and welcome to Pewter Valley. Let's check out this one. But again, before we do, right here is my link. Right there is my QR code. You could scan it with your phone and it will take you straight to my free mobile app. You'll receive homes directly from the MLS before sites like Zillow and Realtor.com. Let's check out this one. So, Pewter Valley. This is a Richmond American build. Sorry, I can't back up anymore. I am up against the lake, um, excuse me, the fence. This one is the Boxwood. This is two story, three to four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage. And this one starts currently at 487,950. Now we are kind of in the south, technically the southwest, but right up against the, um, the 15, pretty close to it. Now again, if you have any questions whatsoever, all my info is down in the description below. Make sure to hit the like button. It really helps the channel out, it really helps it grow. And again, if you wanna stay up to date on new tours, make sure to subscribe. I am back, I am trying to put new ones out every single day. So coming in right here, this is the garage. Currently it is the sales office. But before we get into it, let's start right here. It looks like we have our coat closet. So a little bit smaller coat closet. Again, this home is 1,790 square feet. And there are a lot of options in here. Now, I was told on average, people are about uh, putting about 15%. So what is that, $50,000, $75,000. This probably has mm, 120, maybe more because of the backyard. Love this downstairs area. Let's go ahead and head on up. But again, if you are considering buying new, you want to buy new, make sure to call a realtor first. Again, the salespeople, the people online, when you call in, all of that good stuff, they don't work for you. They don't represent you. They represent the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. And fun fact, as the buyer, you do not pay the realtor commission, the builder does. So all my info down below. I've seen this home before and, sorry, I need to back up because this one at least has, is it the eight foot ceilings? Try to see a door. One second, bear with me. This one has the nine foot ceiling. They do make it also with an eight foot ceiling and this becomes, or a 10 foot ceiling, it becomes better because it almost becomes a little cave-like in here. I saw one, I'll try to find the link for it, where they did a very, very dark bathroom and this became almost claustrophobic. It's way better with the light. So we have very nice countertop. They did the dark hardware everywhere. We have just a standard bumper, but these are upgraded cabinets and we have our toilet. So your powder room is up the stairs. This isn't so bad, but if you, you better be careful when you put really dark, dark paint or dark anything in here, it does become a little cave-like. Let's go ahead and head on upstairs and then we'll come back down and check out everything downstairs. So again, this has a lot of options and when you're buying new, you need to keep that in mind that it's not just that this home is $487,000. The lots are about $10,000. The HOA is somewhere around $67. So you have to keep those in mind too, plus the backyard. This is an option right here. Normally it will be a pony wall. Again, most people are probably putting sixty dollars to $75,000 into this home once built, plus the lot. So you're looking at, what, a $500,000 home just became a $570,000 home. Keep those things in mind when buying new. So before we check out this loft area, right here, they do have some built-ins, which are really nice. So again, probably just the same thing as below. Mm -hmm, just the bumpers. We have the same countertop, and we have our lowers. Let's go ahead and come on into this first bedroom. Nice size, it's actually really nice size. Full size bed, two nightstands, big window. They did option up. This is a structural option right here with the four can lights, there's the fourth. Normally, you'll just get a pre-wire cap. You won't even get a fan. So keep those things in mind. I know a lot of people always ask what options to pick. I always tell them structural. You can always repaint cabinets. You can always change flooring. It gets harder when you want to put in a higher ceiling or if you want to put in a bigger um, slider or even can lighting that can get tricky because they have to cut the walls right here coming on over nice size closet so walk-in closet on the secondary again if you need more space you can even move both or even just one one up and do a second bar 
but big closet. I do like this room. I'm gonna give you one more spin just so you can see. It's large. Coming on out, let's go to our next, before we hit the bathroom, we'll hit our next bedroom. Now I believe you can even do a fourth bedroom in lieu of loft, so I'll see, show that here in just a second. This room is quite a bit smaller, I'll be honest. Full size bed, two nightstands. Again, they did the can lighting. It does make such a big difference at night. You'll have to see it. I'll try to get another video of it at night, how much dimmer these homes are. It's harder in the summer. You've seen some of my Lennar videos where they do not put it in. It makes the world of difference. We have our two door closet. Again, need more room, add the bar, move the bar up, add a second bar, and you've doubled your closet space. It's the lighting. It really is crazy what a little bit of lighting can do. I'm putting more cam lights in my home right now, and it is, it's a different place. So optioned up again, flooring, complete option. We have optioned up countertops, optioned up cabinets. I do like these rectangular undermounted sinks. They are nice. They even did really pretty vanity lights. They even have a second door here, which is really nice. And I've heard multiple people say different things. Would you want the second door where you can close that and people could still use the sink? Cause you'll have a door here, you'll have a door there. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you like the second door or do you wish just the bathroom was continuous because you would get a little bit more space here. And I have seen them before where the door opens in and that gets tricky getting in and out because you almost have to step over here or step in the tub. Hopefully this door opens this way. We will see. So we have our toilet. We do have a little peekaboo window, which um, again, you probably will want some sort of window treatment on it. Now this is a slight upgrade on this tub. Let's see if we can move this out of the way. We want, oh, no, it does not want to go. Sorry about that. We are doing it on the fly. But this is a fiberglass composite tub and they tiled all the way up. Normally you'll get a tub shower combo, fiberglass composite tub, fiberglass composite walls. You can option up for a shower only or you can option up like this to do grout and tile everywhere. I hear mixed reviews about it. Some people don't like the tile because it's harder to clean the grout lines. Uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I do like the look of the tile, but I do not like to clean. So right here we have our upstairs loft. Again, they added all of these lights. You'll get the hallway lights here. And where is it here? But you will not get these four. These are an option. If you want extra lighting, again, you can always add extra uh, lamps or whatever but keep those things in mind. Those do not come with the home. It is a nice size loft though. And again, this would be the fourth bedroom if you so choose to do a fourth bedroom. Would you do a loft or a fourth bedroom? Let me know down below. Before we head in into, ooh, that is pretty. Before we head in there, right here we have our upstairs, ba um, not bathroom, our laundry room. Again, you're gonna get hard surface flooring in the wet areas. Kitchen, laundry, entry, and bathrooms. You're not gonna get this, and you're gonna get carpet everywhere else. So keep those things in mind if you wanna upgrade flooring. They upgraded the uppers. Normally, it will just be a shelf right here. They went with the cabinets, and really nice um, washer and dryer. Now, I haven't shown you, and I'll see if I can find the outlet. This right here is your smart center. You put your uh, modem and your router, everything in here. And then there are drop points throughout the house where you could plug into ethernet and cable. Let me see, maybe we'll sneak back into one of the bedrooms and I'll see if I can show you where, or maybe even in the master. We spin directly around, we have our linen closet. It's nice that it's right off the master suite. Oh, you know what? Here's what I was talking about. Right here, here's one of those drop points. Let me see if I can show you. We have our ethernet and our cable. So that will drop hard lines throughout the house in that smart center. If we spin, again, loft, right here we have our master suite. It's a nice size, not massive, but it is cozy. We have a king size bed, two nightstands, two big windows, we have the slider. I don't know if this is the sta uh, standard slider, and I do believe with this you do get the balcony, but I believe it's just an eight foot, not a 12 foot slider. 
If we spin back around, you can see there's definitely room for a nice TV. They did a dresser and it is a pretty good size balcony. Be nice just to enjoy, especially on a date like today where it is, it's probably 80 out. It's not bad. And everything in here has been upgraded. <laughs> Very nice. Now I believe the standard is a linen closet, tub shower combo. You can get a um, shower only tub or uh, yeah, shower only tub only, or you can get this mega shower. I'll link to the other video where I just filmed another one where you can see the difference between just the separate tub, separate shower. It is nice. And one of the things I do like with these, they give you the toweling off area right here. So if we come right here, the only thing I would want to see is maybe the towel bar. You're going to want to put a bench or something right here for your towels. But the thing that I like that they do, they tile everything. You get the one shower head, you get the rain shower head, and then your valves are right here. You can turn them on without going into the cold water, but it is nice. I just want to shower um, a towel rod because otherwise you have to run all the way over there. And hmm, that seems cold. Right here we have our vanities again, same exact faucets as before, same stone, same square or rectangular undermounted sinks. It is a very nice bathroom suite. I do like it. Just this is throwing me off. If we spin back around, we have our toilet area. Nice size toilet area, especially if the door is gonna open in, you're not gonna get trapped in here. And it is nice and tall. These are nine foot ceilings upstairs, which you normally don't see. Normally it's eight foot. Nice size closet. It's probably mm, maybe seven by seven, eight by eight. It's big. You could do a lot with it. Again, if this door opens in, you can even put like a tall dresser right here and you can go crazy with this. You can have California closets, Las Vegas. What is it? Closets, Las Vegas. I've even seen some people do Ikea or the container store. There are a lot of different options out there. Let's go ahead and head on down. Check out that downstairs kitchen, living and dining. Again, if you have any questions, all my info down in the description and the pinned comment. Love to hear from you. Love to help you out in any way possible. Answer any questions you have. And again, if you could do me that huge favor and hit the like button. Coming on down. Now again, normally carpet everywhere you see. So they upgraded the flooring. They did the double sliders. And normally you're just gonna get that uh, eight foot slider. They did two 12 foot sliders, which are really nice. I believe the slider goes over here. They normally do a window here, and then I don't know if the balcony, give me one second. The covered patio is an option. So again, lots of options in here. Let's just spin over here. Where do we want to start? Do we want to go out back first? Let's go over there. So again, when you buy new, you need to make sure that you budget for your backyard. The backyard is going to be completely dirt. There won't be anything there. Again, it used to be 15,000 would get you a pretty nice backyard, but everything has gone up in price, inflation and whatnot. So this right now would probably cost 20 to 25. If you want to add a pool, this backyard could definitely hold a pool. Pool, spa, heater, all that good stuff. You're looking at $50,000 without landscaping. So a pool, backyard, new, you're looking at probably 70 to $80,000. Maybe you might be able to get away with 60, but just keep those things in mind when you are buying new. This whole covered patio is an option. It runs the entire length of the backyard, but this is a pretty nice sized backyard for out here. A lot of the builders are building such little tiny, tiny yards. But again, with new, there are pros and cons. One of the cons is the backyard. Could be a pro if you wanna do whatever you want. It's a blank canvas, but do keep in mind that it does cost money. We have our living area. So it's just basically one big open area. We have living, dining, kitchen, all in one. And they did some options in the kitchen as well. Before we get to the kitchen, we have our dining area. And sometimes with these builders, the dining area is so little. I will call this more of a breakfast nook, but it's not bad. You can see there's a four person table right here. It's not too close anywhere. You could walk around, you could walk around. It's not bad. Plus you also have the island with the overhang. You could probably get away with four chairs here. It would be tight, but you can see how big they're big, almost like 18 inches across the chairs. They're pretty good size. We have our overhang. 
And again, everything in here is upgraded. The only thing, and I've heard this before in some of their other tours that I've done of the same model, is a lot of people wish this pantry came to here. I wish they did that too, because that's an awfully small pantry for this home. Just bring it to the light switch right here. Another two feet, but little minor details. Again, you could always add on another one later on. Keep those things in mind. Right here, coming on down into the kitchen. Again, upgraded counters, upgraded pretty much everything in here. They even did the trash. I love that. And that should be soft closed. Oh, interesting. They didn't do soft closed on that one. We have our stainless steel undermounted sink. Here's your view. It is nice. It's cozy. We spin back around. We have all of our drawers. Now, normally you will not get a double oven. The double, um, the range will be right here with the stove oven combo and you'll just have more counter space. But with here, they did the double oven. We did our five burner cooktop. They did the backsplash. We have a really big microwave and it does vent outside. Always wanna check that. If it's not gonna have a vent outside, it's gonna recirculate in. Just have to be careful if you cook a lot of like steaks and stuff because you might be setting off fire alarms. I've done that before back in college, but backsplash. I believe they even have the ability if you wanna run under light, under the undermounts. All in all, it is pretty nice. Come back right here is our dishwasher. The only thing I will say, and you're never gonna have both of them open at the same time. If you open the dishwasher, and someone's trying to cook, it could be a little tight. You wouldn't want to try to open up the dishwasher and the oven at the same time, but all in all, it isn't too bad. It's nice. Let's spin back around just so you can see everything. Again, if you have any questions whatsoever, all my contact info down in the description and the pinned comment, love to hear from you. Love to help you out and answer any questions possible, you, uh, whether or not it's on this tour or any home, resale, new, anything in between. Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. Make sure to subscribe. I am back. I am trying to put new videos out every single day. And as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.